This episode is presented to you by NFL Sunday Ticket, now on YouTube and YouTube TV. With NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube and YouTube TV, you can watch your favorite team's out-of-market Sunday games, plus watch up to four games at once with multi-view. Don't miss the race to the playoffs. NFL Sunday Ticket is now just $39 when bundled with YouTube TV, where you get even more football. Visit YouTube.com slash Spotify offer to sign up now. Lowest price on YouTube TV with base plan. Rest of 2023 season. Terms and embargoes apply. No cancellations. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. From your morning podcast to your afternoon playlist, State Farm knows you personalize your entire day. And that's why State Farm helps you personalize your insurance with the State Farm Personal Price Plan. It offers coverage options that help protect what you care about most at an affordable price just for you. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer. Availability and eligibility may vary. Vaginas are absolute magic. And Ollie is here to give them the respect they deserve. That means shame-free supplements made with clinically studied ingredients to keep your pH in check and your pleasure a priority. Put yourself on top. Go to ollie.com today. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This episode is brought to you by Seed. Seed's DS01 is a two-in-one probiotic and prebiotic designed for whole body health. Formulated with 24 clinically and scientifically studied strains, DS01 offers benefits in and beyond the gut. See why DS01 is the probiotic recommended by top doctors and nutritionists. Go to seed.com slash Spotify for 25% off Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic. it again with another episode of the Shades of Blue Soccer Show. It's the Shades of Teal now. It's the Shades of Teal. That is a shade of blue. Thank yes, you. Yes, teal is a shade of blue. Right. It's, it's just a teal shade this shade episode. Okay. And we are sitting here. We're recording in this amazing new conference room. Uh, we got here early to record, so we get to like sneak in before everybody else. We're like really one of the first ones in here. Shh. I'm at the head of the table. Feel very good. And we He's going to brag about that for a long time. I love it. And we also have, oh, it's going to be a good night. I'm bumping elbows with, with the, the beautiful people of Kansas City. <laughs> it's all up from here, man. <laughs> they have pizza. I'm very excited. Okay. Um, uh, but so we also have, and I'm going to get to this before I forget the words, the executive director of communications. Boom. You did it. That's perfect. I'm Danny, Danny Welniak. Welniak. Look, we did that in sync. It's Welcome. like we've done this that before. Was beautiful. I that don't was beautiful. know. It's the it's old Chiefs radio <laughs> connection that we have. That's there. exactly what yes. it is. <laughs> Yes, uh, Super Bowl champ here. I see she's wearing the yeah, ring. Just make I've, sure everybody knows that one. Yep. And I, have I shared this with you guys before? I know I have with you. So I will gladly take I a look at it. I played women's professional football in Dallas for the Dallas Diamonds. And in case wow. anybody out there is wondering, yes, it's the full yes. helmets, pads, gridiron, 11 on 11. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew thing. that. I just hadn't seen the ring. Yeah. So cool. was blessed enough to be a part of the team that won it all, won the Super Bowl back in 2008. And I have a very gaudy ring to show for it. So and it is a well, beautiful ring. That was the what wow. What position did you play? Slot receiver and running back. But I also right. take great pride in my special teams abilities. A little bit of like ah. female Debo Samuel. Yeah. 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 You know what? I might not have been big, but I was mighty. So <laughs> yeah, a little so, scrapper out there. So are we used to say that like with Chiefs radio stuff that you used to, that you did it all. You were you were the athlete. You <coughs> did the journalism part. You were covering in games, and and now you're also crossed over into the front office side of it. So wow. you really are doing every single part of this. Hey, and you know what? That's been one of my philosophies my entire life, is if you can do everything, then it's a lot harder to get rid of you, right? Because <laughs> if, if you can do it all, you can be that utility player. And I think a lot of people really appreciate that in the business world. So yeah. especially with this opportunity, I think it's really cool because you do get to see both sides of things and you have a different, fresh perspective that a lot of people on this side don't necessarily have. 
Absolutely. What, what made you jump now, though? <laughs> I mean, you probably had an opportunity before, but what made you jump to the current? So the crazy thing is, is that it was just this perfect flurry of things. Uh, first of all was the fact that my family is growing, and we have a little two-year-old, and she's amazing. Her name's Cameron. Um, she's a little athlete all on her own, uh, <laughs> and hoping that she continues to grow into that, maybe plays soccer someday or even football. You know, I'm not going to argue against that. Her dad's big in tennis, so maybe okay. she ends up as a tennis player. Oh. Totally She's cool got a lot with of options. That. She has a lot of <laughs> options. And if she wants to play the trumpet, I also support that as well. So um, we'll see if she's more of a creative or more of an athlete. You know, I'm cool with whatever. But being able to be there for her, I think, was a really big part of where I wanted to go with my future and how I wanted to make that decision. Her and my husband and having more time with the family was a big thing um, because in sports television, everything's at night. So you do not see your family at all at night. And so, um, you know, that was a big thing. I loved my job. I love TV. I love broadcasting and I still do. Um, but the opportunity to be a part of what they're doing here at the Kansas city current, you guys cover them. You have literally a front row seat to everything that's happening here with the new stadium and the training facility and doing things that have never been done in women's sports. And even across the world was something that I just relished in and really wanted to be a part of. And after having a chance to talk with Angie Long and Chris Long and Brittany Mahomes and talking to them and even some of the staff here um, with the Kansas City Current about everything that's going on, um, it was one of those things that I felt very led to do. And I will throw it all out there. I'm a person of faith. And so I'm a firm believer that there are no coincidences and that God can kick you through doors sometimes. And I feel like this was one of those doors that were, were opened. And he was like, let's go, let's go change the world. Let's go do something for, for the Kansas City Current. You were listing off a bunch of names there. We just got to talk with Allison Howard, the club president, yeah. a little bit ago. There's just, it's, it's, a, it's a star-studded group that we have here. She, she's a, a hot shot that comes from the Lakers, and the, we have a great ownership group. So, yes, I imagine this was, uh, was quite a, an easy move here into something that uh, is something you're passionate about as yeah. well. And you didn't even get a chance to mention Cami um, Levin. She is, or Levin, she's here. She's our general manager, and she's got a background in WWE. So it's like you have all of these yeah. different people and women coming into these positions that have these kind of cool backgrounds um, that are making a difference here in Kansas City and making a difference for this club. So I think that's kind of what makes it cool. There's a, there's a vibe. There's an energy in the building. It's busy hallways. Everything smells new. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's the thing. I'm just kidding. Uh, the, new, the, new, the new room smell. But, but no, the, the, there's an energy among, in, in this building here. Everybody you talk to, the enthusiasm is, like, infectious. I mean, you, you know, yes. like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to join in, too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't have a conversation with Chris and Angie without feeling that way either. Right. Like every, every exactly. conversation you ever have with them is like, wow, this is freaking sweet, man. Like, <laughs> And how big picture they think, right? With everything that they say and every conversation that they have, it's not just, hey, we're going to affect Kansas City. We're going to affect the community, but we're going to change the world. Like it, that is literally every conversation you have with them. And so to be able to think that big picture and talk to people who think that big picture it's really rare, I think, in this day and age. So I totally agree with you. It's if you haven't had a chance to have a conversation with the Longs, you absolutely need to. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 vision is rare, and it's even rarer when those people are able to accomplish it. But what they've already accomplished, and what the people they brought in have already accomplished from their different areas, it, again, it just looks like a, it's like a star-studded team. It's like an all-star team behind the team. So it. it I don't know how to more describe it. It's just kind of, it's fun to talk to you all. Yeah, and it's one of those things that's really cool because they have done such a good job from a financial backing standpoint that I think a lot of people, you see that in the things that are being built. But I don't think, mm -hmm. it's it's really hard as, as Daniel points to all of the magic <laughs> that is the training complex. In right? our audio medium, you, thank you. I, I know, that. right? Kansas City um, Star represent. <laughs> I know, I mean, you're welcome. There, there's, uh, just so <laughs> everyone works. has some kind of visual, if you haven't seen pictures of it already, there's a ton of glass. It's very open concept. Um, everything is brand new, like you said. It, it smells new. It's cool. The pitches new are car beautiful. Smell. The new car smell. <laughs> I mean, it is It is fantastic. It is world class. And but being able to have that financial backing, and it's so funny because I was just uh, talking with uh, – 
the head of our content team, you know, it's kind of the, if you build it, they will come philosophy, the field of dreams, right? Is that you believe that if you put this financial backing behind, um, women's sports and something that you believe in, that it will grow and it will become a good financial investment. And I think that's exactly what they're doing. For someone who's played in women's professional sports, what, uh, like, just to see that. I thought he was about to say, he, he, uh, as someone who's, I thought you were about to introduce yourself as someone who's played <laughs> women's sports. That's what that sentence sounded can like. I, can I finish my question? I was like, what did no, he do? No, I was, I, that's a really deep story there. We didn't know you had done that. Interjecting <laughs> here. Wow, so <laughs> sorry, so, I'm what sorry. I'm sorry. I was so thrown off by that. What <laughs> women's sport did the Sperry play? Okay, as, okay, so for Danny, as someone who has played in women's <laughs> sports professionally, Glad you, you, clarified that. you talk about, I mean, there's two letters uh, at the end of my name that differ from that, so it's okay. Um, but, uh, no, uh, but as someone who played right women's professional football, what what in seeing the for you, let's say, take outside of the I work for this team role, right. like when you see people putting dollar signs behind that and having a daughter yourself, like just tell me a little bit about what that brings to you as well, seeing that that investment in, in women especially. Honestly, a lot of emotion because it's this roller coaster that goes on in your head of how you think that you deserve it, that you believe that women should have had this a long time ago, and that it's crazy to think that women don't. And so to be in 2022 going into 2023 and for this to be the first of its kind um, and to be the first in the world, you know, specifically built for a women's professional team is wild to me. And it's one of those things that you are really excited to be a first or be a part of being something that's a first, but you almost have to take a step back because you don't want to be the last. Like it's cool to be the first, but you have to make sure that that's sustainable. So being a former women's professional athlete, I love being able to see this. And I think the epitome of it was that first day when the players and coaches all got to walk in here the range of emotions was something that is a like as a journalist like you take a step back and you kind of observe everything and there were certain players who were laughing there were certain players who were smiling others were joking and then there were some that just were awestruck and then there were a couple that cried and it's if you don't understand everything that they've put into it and everything that an athlete puts into getting to where they are at that level, it's kind of hard to fathom that someone would cry over getting an opportunity to, you know, train and bust their tails every day and bleed and sweat and just do all that craziness in their work environment. But that's what it is. It's the, it's the fruition of a dream that has been realized. And it's just so cool to see that all of those emotions are okay, you know, to see something mm -hmm. like this and to see women's sports get to this point. We're so far from where we need to be just across all mediums and all platforms and all sports. Um, but this is a big step in getting there. You, you mentioned you don't want it to be the last. The, the NWSL is the third professional women's soccer league. Uh, the first two ended up failing for various reasons. This one has sustained. It's been over a decade. But with what you're doing now, how do you – it, it, is there a vision of how to help, you know, maybe drag along some of the teams in the NWSL that are not doing this sort of thing or, and yeah. then extending it into Europe and, you know, and, and those things, cause we've talked to players from all around the world and they have nothing like this. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, even on the men's side, they don't have things like where, you know, sporting trains, they don't have that quality over there at some of the big clubs, but how do you do that? Is there even a thought of that at this point? Or is it just like get this and then, try to drag people along later? No, I think that it goes back to the point that, you know, the longs think so big picture. And the idea is that you're not dragging people along, but you have to set an example. And you have to, I, I think for a lot of people, especially in the business world, they have to see it succeed in order to jump on that boat or jump on that wagon. And if, you know, this ownership group, They've made it successful. And if other people can see that and other teams can see that and other leagues can see that, then it allows those other teams not necessarily to be drug along, but what's the motto that all boats rise, you know? And so I, there are a few teams in this league that are setting that example and there are teams across the globe that are trying to set that example. And I think it's so cool to say that it's right here in Kansas City, you know, that we're watching this in our own backyard and that that is where a lot of that potential is starting. Then, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine 
But so, but I want to just get in here and say that we uh, we were we're we're going to talk about the the wow the KC Current Media game tonight. We kind of we have old friends here, so we kind of just like really got into this. And we we're going to start talking. Let's but go. That, but that is the plan. We're going to talk about the media game here here later, and we're gonna we're gonna talk some smack. We're really going to get into it. But yes, go ahead, Thad. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Now I remember where I was going. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and is talking about how this is like the moment. This is the the, the the two, three, four, or five years that this team has to make the big impression, mm-hmm. to open a new stadium, to open a training ground, to to win games, to have success, which which I think the team is unbeaten since you joined them. No big deal. I'm not. I don't deserve any of that credit. That's all the oh. stuff that happens on the pitch. <laughs> if I have to happen to bring a championship mentality. We said it. That's not fine. You. Yeah, you guys it, said you. it. I'm just here. We'll repeat it for as many ride. times. I'll put that out there. But, <laughs> but I mean, is that something that y'all also realize that it, this is that moment that you have to make that big impact to 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 set the lifelong fans? You know what I mean? I think I'd be lying if I said no. You know, it is one of those things that even in taking this job was a huge consideration that I want to be able to help expand that and get that word out and help develop the players' brands and to make people fall in love with this team. Yeah, they are making these incredible strides, but also you need to love both what's going on the pitch and what's going off the pitch. And so I think that there is a lot of pressure with that. And knowing that you are a part of an organization that is – again, literally changing the world. So everything that you do from designing the, from helping design the (laughs) logo and the crest, you know, to um, making the big decisions like, you know, when are we going to do the groundbreaking or when, what are we going to do inside the stadium? What's that going to look like? It's all those little things that add up to being big things and that you have to, I think, take a step back again and realize that all of those little decisions are setting a precedent for other teams across the globe. And so none of those are taken lightly around here. Let's put it that way. So being on this side of it, have you looked back at a time where as a journalist, you were like really annoyed with a team that like wasn't, didn't, wasn't, wasn't on time or didn't release something in the proper time. And you were just so annoyed. And now that you're on this side of it, have you like learned, Oh, okay. There may be some things I was <laughs> that I wasn't aware of. I think I may have been a little bit more graceful than a lot of other journalists okay. because like also myself, because yeah. no, because I worked in TV. So working in TV, mm-hmm. like you only have two minutes to fill, you know, every night at ten o'clock. I mean, over at KCTV Five, they have the thirty-minute locker room show, which is a lot more content, mm-hmm. but you can kind of figure out how to fill that. So there's a little bit more grace in TV than I think there is in being a beat writer. Would that be? Accurate, um, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, yeah, yes. so you guys are literally dealing with teams on a daily Although, basis. We don't have to, like, dress up, so. I mean, that is, that is, very nice. that I, is one I of the downfalls of being on TV. I don't have a face for TV either, so. <laughs> I, have a face, I, I have a face for radio. Is what yeah. Yeah. A face for radio, yep. a voice for writing, <laughs> the writing ability of a photographer. So yeah. I'm kind of screwed all the way around. That is magic. And here we are, doing all of it, right? Yep. Utility <laughs> players, doing it all. <laughs> It's harder to get rid of you if you can do it all. Exactly, <laughs> right? Point in case. <laughs> but no, yeah. It's it's funny because you do mm, experience both sides of it, and so you find more grace with both sides of it, I think. And so that's really opened my eyes to see. And I think the longer that I am on this side, I think the more things will come up. I'm still, you know, mm. very new to this. But um, it's definitely one of those things that I've enjoyed being able to be a part of both sides and again it gives you more perspective because it's like in you know an offensive player going to play defense you know mm-hmm. all the formations and you kind of understand where the receiver is going or what the offensive line is doing you know that kind of thing um, as a defender whereas if it's the other way around or you just stay on one side your whole life then you don't really know what's going on on the other side unless you really really study so getting my fingers dirty getting in on this side of things has been a really cool experience so far and yes i am definitely learning a lot cool beautiful i do see how you go back to football analogies and not soccer analogies i know and yeah i noticed that too look <laughs> i played football at the professional level for five and a half ish years and grew up around football so that's always going to be my go back to um, and like even out here, there have been a couple times where I'm like, thank you guys so much for calling an audible. That was great. <laughs> I just have to laugh because I'm like, yeah, that's another football analogy. That's, awesome. Great. That's okay. I just got to give you a little bit of crap. At, so. As you should. Yes. Yeah, but then you, can just, you then you can just be like, I'm sorry, what? And just uh, flash that ring a little bit for, for him. <laughs> and being, you know, nose deep in those play, those uh, Chiefs playbooks and getting ready for um, Chiefs oh, yeah. Sundays, that was... 
That can overwhelm a mind to infinity and back. So, yes, I uh, I am no longer in the radio game. I don't have to do those like 12, 13, 14 hour game days that start way too early. It's too much. Too much. It's magical. It's so magical. Now, yes, soccer has, and being on this side, you have your long match days as well, but it is a little different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially being on that side. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Google Pixel, the official fan phone of the NBA and WNBA. The new Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are built different. How? Take the Audio Magic Eraser tool. It helps block out distracting crowd noise so your play-by-play commentary sounds crystal clear. The only phone engineered by Google brings out the audio you care about so your videos sound as crisp as they look. Learn more at googlestore.com forward slash Pixel NBA. Audio Magic Eraser requires Google Photos app. May not work on all audio elements. Okay. The KC Current Media game is approaching. We are here at the draft. I don't see how we got we got into things so quickly earlier that I don't even know that I mentioned that word. It's, we're here before the draft. We're here for the draft. Uh, I don't even know who all is coming yet, but I'm very excited about this. Do you do you know of the list? Um, I do, but do I, should I give it a do well, I give away all of the like people that are going to be here? Or is well, that like part of the excitement? Who? Well, this won't. Be, we're not releasing it before any of this comes yeah, out. This will this will right. come out tomorrow. So. I guess that's. Oh, I guess that's true. Okay. Well, know who it is. Well, you guys, yes, you guys will obviously get the first dibs on posting on posting the ever <laughs> sought <Dallas>. after <laughs> <laughs> lineup of the media game. <laughs> I'm sure people are chomping at the bits to see that. I mean, um, and, all, and honestly, so we have. Well, I'm curious about who the what, what's the captains. Forty five oh, wow. people playing. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So I mean, it's a yeah. big field. The, the right. whole goal. I don't plan on running. There's look, that many people. The whole goal was to make sure that, like, if you didn't like, if you didn't feel like you were up to like sprinting the whole length of the pitch, you don't really have to. So I sprinted I from the goal defense. to like the top of the 18 yard box after I scored <laughs> in the like KC or the Sporting KC one and. I was pretty well out of breath at that. Those point. are the easiest sprints, though, right, until they're done, and you're like, oh, man, why did I do that? You, there's so much energy when you put that ball in the back of the net. In front of the and cauldron. In front of the cauldron, <laughs> jump the ad boards, run around and high-five everybody, barely make it over on the way back, and then try and catch your breath as you realize, wow, okay. I do not have the cardio that I should. Yes, that was all glorious, except I just want to go back to a part you mentioned <laughs> Uh, in the back of the net, did that ball actually reach no. the back of the net? It I'm not sure it rolled. Oh, okay. It hit the side netting. Because the keeper pushed it over it there. It rolled across the line, and I wasn't sure if it made it to the back of the hey. net. Balls <laughs> over the a line. stunner it Ask was. Willie Agata about that one. A Balls over the line, it it's a goal. <laughs> I just didn't strangle my coach. <laughs> so whoever my coach is, whoever's my captain for... This media game people wear because so you don't you don't get to play in the media game is this correct? No, that, that I do not. You're, no, you're that was definitely tossed anymore. around. Um, I wanted to really badly, but right. there are other responsibilities on game day that <laughs> I have to take care you of. You can sneak so. out on our team, whichever team I'm on. Okay, touche. Yeah, because we've, we've you know, been teammates before. We have been teammates multiple times, and we've never lost as teammates. So, right. also throwing that out there, it's fine. What is the captain situation? Okay, so we have two captains. Are you ready? Dave Borchert. He is one captain. We know him. And Brenda Van Lingen is the other captain. So they will be selecting, or they are selecting teams. I just don't want to be last. (laughs) 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 No, that that it reduces expectations, and then then you can come out glory. There are no expectations for fat old guys. We just stand. (laughs) I'm I'm hoping. I I block passing lanes. I was going to say, you play great defense, right? Yeah, we shut out the other team the other day. I'm going to hide in the shadows. The good dose of (laughs) Cero. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure who the, how the captains were being picked. I was at one of these, they they did a draft for a sporting Kansas city one once and it was just too, uh, TV people, and it was just like a gang of like picking your own TV friends, <laughs> and, and we were you know all just sitting on the side. I was we got that media last. captain. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was me. I was hoping. I was. That was the joke I was hoping to get to. I'm glad you remember. I saw your eyes. I saw in your eyes just. Wasn't it, my it was eyes the, just like got so big. I was like, was a, "Yep." Well, and it everybody had no been other it. pub, right? No it was a no pub. other yes, pub. Yes. Yep. Everybody in power and light had been partying hard too because the women's national team had just won the World Cup that Correct. day. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I was sweltering out front of Mc. Fadden's pack jam pack. I thinking so about that, that and knowing that there was like eight month, eight ten months to COVID, and yeah. then just thinking about how jam packed that place oh. was, and I was just like, "Good Lord!" Now, now I think back on that and think, "Why, why did I choose to do that?" But well, I moments. covered the Super Bowl that yeah. February, right before right. March, 
And you're like, what? I made a, I, you know, that's, I, it's a work decision, right? And I enjoyed covering the Super Bowl and the Chiefs won, so that was great. But right. I look back on that and I'm like, that probably was a COVID breeding ground. Let's be Ooh. completely uh, honest. The parade, all that fun stuff. All that good stuff. So that's beside the point though, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> media draft. <laughs> <laughs> media drafts and Every. me just randomly picking people <laughs> that I didn't survived. really know. <laughs> we all survived. We're all here to tell the story. The show makes a living off going off tangents. So. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Right. <laughs> uh, so there is a... Makes a living. Is it still... <laughs> <laughs> it implies we're making money off this one. Living. Well, yeah, we are, but you're correct. not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Uh, okay. That's so what, there's that's why we invite good guests on. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to spill the beans before we can. But there's a there's a celebrity. Is it the referee, an yes. MC of the proceedings? And it is still it is still under wraps. No, I know who it is. Is it this is public <laughs> information? Well, no, I know who it is. We've we've gathered who it is. Yeah. Oh wait, you. no. I think we're revealing it. Tonight, yeah. So I'm pretty sure See, you yeah, guys are we over here bragging, but get out right. of here. I'm trying to I'm trying to protect the brand here, right? Because okay? this is airing tomorrow. Uh, yes, well, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I mean, you can talk about it being Matt yeah. Beasler, right? Yeah. yeah, the bees. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm pretty excited about this. So is he is he going to be here tonight? I think so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so hoping funny. he red cards somebody. So he's like he's refereeing or emceeing or, or what's Re- this? Uh, refereeing. He is refereeing and okay. he, he is going the talk full about crossing over to the other side. Oh my yes. gosh! He, yeah, he is going <laughs> all in, and I love every second of it, and so, I cannot. Well, I just full, full kit wanker as a referee. Yeah. Is is that the proper terminology? Yes, that's, for that's that? the proper ter- terminology. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you see somebody standing in the cauldron, <laughs> completely in a uniform. That's what they're called, the full okay. kit wanker. And, that's, so and that, 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 that goes across the pond to Europe, yes, anything like that. I mean, okay. that is a, yeah, that is a it's very... It's not our origination. That is a, <laughs> thank England for that one. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning so much tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's boy. go. I'm very excited about this because... I'm curious to hear what referee Beasler like, like, took notes from. Like, I want to hear, is yeah. he going to go from... We're going Baltimore Toledo here? Are we going to go Mark <laughs> Geiger? Like, I mean, we've got some, we've got some great referees... In MLS that he's had. I'm hoping That's he just wears dark glasses like he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about it because post player Matt Beesler has just been a delight so far. He has he's been more relaxed, right? He, uh, he he's less robotic. He, <laughs> he speaks more of his mind. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, he. Uh, I, I'm liking this Matt Beesler. I feel like that's kind of a trend with like players in general. Like once they retire, they get out of the game. Like they're much more easy to chat with, and they're much more laid back. So that's not, yeah, not the first story of that that I've I've witnessed or heard of well and one of your counterparts for sporting kansas city robo over there has them so well media trained that beesler would just come out and, you know captain matt beesler on the u.s national team he would just stand there like this do the interviews deliver the answers like this and it was like yes thank you thank you have a nice night isn't and there <laughs> some beauty in that though <laughs> like, yes oh there oh, it was yes efficiency beauty and efficiency yes. and always being willing to like be there even when they're on like losing streaks or not doing well like he still was always there to just talk to them so yeah. that was yeah. i respected that from a media perspective yeah, absolutely and i will say this year has been rough for sporting but johnny russell has done the same for them yeah and he mm-hmm. has he has answered uh, some very tough questions and been very very open uh post big losses or post frustrating moments so yeah very uh, honest Captain, uh, that's a that's usually a reason why those guys end up at the arm band, right? Oops. That's right. Yes, that's right. exactly. I, I see a stream of people walking in, so I'm assuming they're media people. I don't know. Are what the, time does it start? Six fifty six. It starts at seven. So okay. Bada bing, bada boom. We're getting there. Uh, so who <laughs> who do I need to be worried about? You've got the list there. Who's yeah. on this list that I need to be I need to be worried about? Who's got mm. speed? Who looks like they could be uh, they could pull some strings in the midfield? Nobody from the Blue Testament. I mean, so uh, we we got a little there, crazy Dude. with our media invites. We have invited yeah, people I'm, I'm across here, so the board. Yes, <laughs> I got so one. I'm like here. we have. Um, let's see, we got BJ Kissel from KCSN. Okay. okay. Uh, Marlia Campbell over at KCTV Five. She used to play uh, women's basketball at the collegiate level for Wyoming. So. She might be a sleeper. You got to watch out for. I mean, Nate Bucati, of course. Oh, Nate will. I've Nate played against Nate before. Oh yeah, that'll be yeah, a good one. Nate That's will a good be one. incredibly um, 
feisty. Yes, yes that's yes, a good that way of putting the exact it. Word. Feisty is a good word for that. He won't be here uh, tonight. But sh- 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 who else is I'm going wiry. through? Be very wired. He's not going to be here tonight, is it? Eight Ten's doing their hundredth anniversary of existence or whatever yep. tonight at a sold out. What is it? Uh, what's the? I didn't know Nate was that old. The fancy ballroom. The fancy ballroom. The fancy ballroom. Midland? The Midland Theater? Midland, yes. They're at the Midland. Ballroom. There will actually be some current representation there as well. We've got a couple uh-huh. players in that direction. So. Good, good, good. good. Yep. Good. Yep. Doing a little bit of everything tonight, aren't she we? She's to. doing her job. That was, that's good stuff. <laughs> got to get that shout out in there. <laughs> Not just inviting you guys up to the training that's complex, right. but also getting the players out and about in the community, right? That's what Very we're here good. to do. Uh, oh. <laughs> So Cody Tapp is a part of this. Mm. Um, he'll probably be one that will be very entertaining. Um, Nate <laughs> Taylor. Uh, oh, Desmond Moses, last minute addition, former Chiefs player. He will oh, be playing. There we go. Jillian Carroll. Okay. We all know okay. she's okay. a. She's got, yep. skill. she's got yep. skills. Uh, Marcus Officer was the other captain. I remember um, that. Back yes, for the sporting yes, yes. media <laughs> game. Yeah, he can. He can. He can ball. Uh, he can ball. Yeah. He's a big dude. Yeah. So I'd be, I'd be m- much more afraid of him in the in the the. What's the he the looks comics. like a center back. Oh yeah, <laughs> like where it's much smaller, where it's much yeah. smaller, yeah. tighter space, and there's boards for yeah. large people to smash me into. Yeah, yeah to check yeah. you into. <laughs> so many people ended up injured after that match, and in, I may have been one of them. And indoor it's fine. is it's crazy. I did one. I did one. Uh, like fall season of indoor with some friends, and we were all in college. Yeah, and we got in there, and I kid you not, the older. Uh, Hispanic guys team absolutely worked us every single time. They oh ran yeah. forever. They crushed us physically, and they they were just so they just knew everything how to move efficiently, how to do it. It's, it, it was brutal. That was the most physically beat up I've been playing <laughs> soccer. Was playing indoor. All not right, my, not my cup of tea. I loved indoor. Okay, Danny Welniak, thank you very much for. Joining us can, and can for, you just say Danny because like you never say Danny, you just say Danny Wellnick. Yeah, you it have one of those so names. Good, right? It does, but <laughs> and also because my dog's name is Danny. Oh yeah, then you can't and it might come Danny. out. It might come out like stern and that I'm punishing you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want, we don't want that, do we? <laughs> like I'm angry this is supposed you. to be a laid back <laughs> podcast. I don't want to be. I don't want to be talked to like a pet. Please and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so yes, thank you very much for joining, and uh, we gotta. I think it looks like this event is about to start, so so we'll do this. But we need to once the teams are set, uh, maybe a couple days before okay. this this event happens on the nineteenth. I just chicken out. That I thought maybe the sixteenth, nineteenth. Uh, so yes, in the lead up to that, we'll have we'll have another one. We can maybe talk some more smack with the teams. We'll see how that how it shakes out. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we should it. have we should have the captains on. Okay, yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, they're both great. Yes, and then they'll retweet the podcast. Aha, uh-huh, that's my goal. That's my goal here with all of yeah. us. And we need to mention as also. many names We're as we can <laughs> in all of these podcasts so we can be like, oh, look, this guy was mentioned. This guy was mentioned. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. See, this, Hence this the so reason why so you this. all are here tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, always, it's always what's in it for me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're finally learning. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll all talk right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> has just been sent off Some part of strong and all gone soft My fun fun tings got me drinking My fun fun tings got me drinking My fun fun tings got me drinking Give me beer, whiskey, winter gin Anything to shake this food I'm